All right, we are back with a new deck for Standard, and we're bringing back Toxic. I thought this deck was going to be white-hot garbage, but I keep winning with it, so here you go, Sultai Toxic. Um, so, I don't know if this has been done before, but here is the game plan. We have our one drops, we have the Bilious Skull Dweller, 1-1 one, one Death Touch Toxic 1, seems good on the blocks and on the attacks. Our Venerated Rot Priest, who uh, deliver extra poison counters for the fun of it, just by targeting your creatures. You or your opponent can target it, and as a reward, your opponent gets poison counters. So we have things like Elusive Otter if you just want to dump a bunch of counters with a mana sink, and then in the process distribute some poison counters. Um, we'll skip ahead to the three drops, Tainted Observer, 2-3 Toxic 1, and then you get that Proliferate effect. So you can play the Otter and then use the Proliferate effect to give more poison counters. Uh, also proliferate, we're going to bring back our 2-drop that also flies and has Toxic 1, the Void Wing Hybrid. And then we have our Bloated Contaminator, the 4-4 Toxic 1 Trampler, and also more proliferating. Then we have some utility, so we have some removal with Drown and Icor. Removal spell plus relief. <laughs> Plobliperate, and then we also have Serum Snare, a bounce and proliferate. Uh, Distorted Curiosity to just draw some cards. Uh, Vraska's Fall, removal spell, and then just gives a poison counter. You can even do it with nothing in play and give away a poison counter. So that is the game plan, and surprisingly, it's uh, winning. Uh, we just have straight down the line, we split the color base for our mana base. So we have our Fastlands, Dark Slick Shores, Blooming Marsh, and Botanical Sanctum, a play set of each. And then two of each of Painlands, because we want things coming into play tapped, <laughs> I mean untapped, turns one through three, because that's when you play your one through three drops. Um, Cavern of Souls, fantastic in a poison deck, because you name a Phyrexian, and then all your creatures can't be countered. And then lastly, we have Myrix, to help fix your colors, and also throw more uh, toxic creatures onto the battlefield, where you can target them with your Otter, or just uh, recover post-board wipe as well. Uh, the sideboard's kind of wonky. I mean, we have Ghost Vacuum for the Graveyard Removal, um, and then we only have one in our collection, otherwise we'd run two, but Soul Guide Lantern is a budgety, cheaper uh, option. Then we have my favorite card that I'm playing in Standard, definitely playing green, so I can play Fade from History to punish all those players who have the Artifact and Enchantment Heavy decks and then watch them all get destroyed and they get a bear, which usually you can deal with. And then if you have a artifact or enchantment, you also get a bear. Uh, Vraska, Betrayal Sting for extra removal or proliferate. And then Coordinated Clobbering is in the sideboard because it is a pretty good card if you have a Venerated Rot Priest in play, because you just pay one green, and then you deliver two poison counters to your opponent, assuming they have a creature, or if you have two Rot Priests, they get four poison counters, and, and so forth. Um, trying out this fleeting reflection business just to give stuff hexproof, and then maybe copy a Venerated Rot Priest, I don't know, copy a contaminator or something your opponent has that's really good haven't figured out if that's what we want to do uh, the serum snare gets bored in quite a bit just for extra early stuff because we are an aggressive deck we have undercity upheaval because you can also target your creatures with a rot priest in play and then uh, then you get uh, to give away poison counters not sure if it's good or not but we're trying it out, and then also we have Out Cold. I think the point of this is to just punish mid-range decks, because it, one, it can't be countered, which is pretty sweet, and then two, 
Uh, your opponent's creatures that are supposed to block your poison creatures, well, they get stun counters, and you also get to investigate. Like, that's a lot going on for a common. And if you have a contaminator in play or you proliferate with Tainted Observer, you can proliferate and keep those creatures tapped forever. Alright, that is the game plan for Sultai Toxic. I can't believe it's winning. Thanks for watching and have a great day.